lasting peace in Mindanao, a very lofty goal that has eluded past administrations. But the current government is in the belief that with the cooperation of all stakeholders, this somewhat impossible dream will one day become reality. Alan Francisco has more. The Tripoli Agreement was inked in 1976 between the government of the Philippines and the Moro National Liberation Front's Chairman Nur Biswari, hoping to put an end to a decade of uprising and civil strife in Mindanao. Thus, the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao was created, but conflict and armed battles beset Mindanao as the more Islamic Liberation Front came into picture. Another pact was signed, giving birth to the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. Six administrations came to pass. Now, the government's pursuit of peace lies with President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., the son of the country's former president who first initiated the peace deal with the Bangsamoro people. We all want peace in our land. You and your children want a good chance at a better life in a safer, more prosperous country. Your dreams are mine. Pangarap nyo ay pangarap ko. In his first 100 days, President Marcos Jr. made sure that the peace process for the people of the Bangsamoro will continue as he administered the oath-taking of the members of the Bangsamoro Transition Authority, which was extended until 2025. The president urged them to prepare and enact basic laws that will guide the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. September 15, 2022 was a historic day as the leaders of the MILF and MNLF, Ahod Ibrahim and Nur Miswari, showed support to their sons and daughters on the first session day of the Bangsamoro Transition Authority Parliament in Cotabato City. Proof that the process for the creation of the Bangsamoro has come a long way. Very uh, meaningful yung uh, uh, BTA uh, oath-taking because nahandun yun, nahandun yung mga anak ng mga anak ng mga uh, early fighters natin. Kung ano yung uh, nabuo na uh, peace structure ng mga matatanda, ay nandun na rin po sa mga bata. President Marcus Jr. dares the children of the leaders of the various groups to show the world that peace and development will be at arm's reach if everyone works together no matter what differences in ideologies or philosophies they have. We walk this path together because even if it is difficult, we know that at the end of the journey is historical justice, progress, peace, stability, and the unity that our peoples and our nation have long aspired for and so rightly deserve. This new breed of Moro fighters promised to walk the path to lasting peace. There were wars, you know, uh, so our fathers uh, on opposite ends. Now hopefully opposite ends of uh, helping each other sa uh, pagkakaroon patungo sa peace and progress for the good of the Bangsamoro people and of course the Filipino people as a whole. He's been very consistent in his campaign about unity, about peace. In his participation in the United Nations General Assembly in New York City, President Marcos Jr. echoed to the world the success of the Bangsamoro peace deal because of unity in which differences on both sides were set aside. The peace that we have forged after many decades of conflict among warring factions and clansmen demonstrates that unity is possible even in the most trying circumstances. Various organizations and foreign countries played a big role in the realization of peace and development in Mindanao. President Marcos Jr. recognizes these efforts. I cannot end without thanking our partners from the different lands who have come to uh, Bangsamoro to encourage this peace process and who have invested so much of their time, their energy and their funding to Bangsamoro for the development of the many different aspects that have fallen behind in uh, the development 
are the, brought by the national government. It has certainly paved the way to this day. Thank you for your assistances. We could not have done it without you. Alan Francisco, for the Nation.